PNID Safety Case Study, The Texas City Refinery Disaster, narrated by Kevin Lynn and Eric Gauthier. Plant Background Built in 1934, the Texas City Refinery is an oil refinery currently owned by BP. The third largest refinery its operating capacity is 460,000 barrels of oil per day and a production of up to 11 million gallons of gasoline a day. Its products include gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and petrochemicals. With a workforce numbering around 1,800, the sprawling site covers 1,200 acres. This case study focuses on the part of the refinery dedicated to fractionating the light and heavy components of oil. This unit is a splitter. The raffinate splitter has pressure relief pump out systems to service overpressurization and overflow in the column. The ground drum and stack are a relief system designed to receive, quench, and dispose of hot hydrocarbon vapors and liquids. Vapors are dispersed from the top of the stack while liquids flow into the site's closed sewer system. On March 23, 2005, at approximately 1.20 p.m., a series of explosions occurred at the BP Texas City Refinery. The explosion occurred during the restarting of the hydrocarbon isomerization unit. The splitter was flooded with hydrocarbons and overpressurized, leading to a geyser-like release from the blowdown vent stack. Fifteen workers were killed and 180 others were injured. Many of the victims were working in the trailers located near the vent stack. The feed stream to the raffinate splitter was restarted by operators, who failed to also start up the discharge streams in a timely manner. As the feed continued, the raffinate splitter began to fill up with carbon feed, leading to an increase in pressure. As the column filled up and the pressure continued to build, the relief valves of the splitter were opened. When the valves opened, an estimated 46,000 gallons of liquid hydrocarbon were discharged to the blowdown drum in 6 minutes. This is equivalent to five oil tanker trucks. Carbons entered the drum at a rate of 7,670 gallons per minute. The flow rate from the blowdown drum to the sewer only ranged from 1,800 to 5,000 gallons per minute. The level in the drum and stack rose until approximately 2,000 gallons of hydrocarbon were discharged from the top of the stack to the outside. Ignition of the flammable vapor and liquid is believed to have been set off by a running truck engine. The Raffinate Tower lacked an emergency shutdown system, placing the responsibility of safe operation on human attention. If the relief valve had been located at the top of the Raffinate Splitter, a higher pressure would have been required to lift the valve, moderating the liquid flow to the blowdown drum. It determined that the level sensor in the blowdown stack detected liquid levels up to only 3 meters. The level sensor was inappropriate for this specific blowdown system which was much taller than 3 meters. An appropriate sensor would have detected the problem sooner, allowing more time for emergency evacuation. The blowdown stack should have long been replaced by the flare relief system. The blowdown system was susceptible to liquid overflow, whereas the flare system would have burned off excess material. More importantly, the working environment at the Texas City Refinery had degenerated characterized by resistance to change and lack of trust, motivation, and sense of purpose. Process safety, performance, and systematic risk reduction had not been set and consistently reinforced by management. Proper training, hazard awareness, and familiarity with emergency response procedures could have prevented many fatalities and injuries. Remember, you are responsible for maintaining a safe environment in the workplace.